Okay, so these are the nail tips I'm going to be using. I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. I like these ones because they're a little bit more tapered at the ends. I'm really satisfied with these, so I'm just going to measure them and put them, glue them on my nail. So then after I'm going to cut them down and I'm just using, I think these are cuticle clippers. Um, I'm just using this because it's what I have. I don't know why I haven't bought the actual nail cutter. They're only like $4 if you guys want to get those, but this just works fine for me. And after I cut them down a little bit, I'm going to, I do like them coffin shaped. So I'm going to use the same cutters and cut the side. I have tried doing it with scissors, but I'm just not really that good. I'm not comfortable doing it. With scissors, I have messed them up before doing it with them. So this is just kind of easier. I just cut like twice, once on the bottom and once on the top um, on each side. And it just works good for me. So then after I cut them to how I think I'm going to like them, I go in with a file just to kind of um, shape them up a little bit more to see where. Because it's easier to do it now than after the acrylic's on. It's a lot faster, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to take my small little e-file, which I've been very happy with, on a low setting, the lowest setting. And I'm going to just remove any shine from my natural nails and then kind of go over that line from where my nail, my natural nail and my fake nail meet. I just want to kind of make it a little bit more smooth, but I do want to remove any shine. And then I'm going to start going in with the acrylic. I am using Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder. And I'm also going to use the Mia Secrets liquid monomer as well. And the first step I'm going to take is I'm going to use the primer to apply to my natural nail. And I'm going to be using the Mia Secret primer as well. I'm really happy with these products. This is not sponsored. I bought them myself. I'm just really happy with these products. And then um, I did find end up finding a brush that I like. Again, it will be listed and linked in the description box. I work better with small brushes, so this was a good size for me. And I'm trying to get better at picking up a large amount of acrylic so I can just go in a couple of times with the acrylic with a large bead and just so it's a lot faster just working with a larger amount of acrylic laying it on and letting it do its thing and it's just a lot faster but instead of going in a lot of different times to try to fill it up enough I'm working on that so I have got to the point where I'm at like a good two beads and then if I need a little bit more I'll add a little bit more but yeah I'm getting a little bit better and also I'm still working on trying to figure out the best angle to film these nail videos I'm still a little new to the nail videos so I'm trying to figure out a good setup to where I can still see what I'm doing and also film it and you guys can see good so I think I need to angle my camera just a little bit differently so you guys could see just a little bit better but I'm also working on that too. <laughs> and I know I say this in every video but I just want to make sure to say it again that I don't like my nails really thick so I'm not putting, that's why you see them really thin. Uh, I don't have any problem with them breaking or lifting or anything like that so I just continue to do them really thin the way I like them.
So then after I have all the acrylic laid down and it's dry, I'm going to go in with a file and start shaping them. I'm using, I think this one is a 100 and 180 grit file, which I need a new one. I need some new files. As you can see, they're pretty, I've used them a lot. So I have to kind of like go in a little bit harder, but make sure when you get a new file that you kind of, I know like you can kind of sand the sides because they are really sharp and they can cut you. So just make sure you be careful if it's new. But I do like using a coarser nail file just because it's a little bit faster. So I'm just shaping the sides. I do like them again, like a coffin shape. And then I am still using this one. I am using another one, another file after this. But I am still using this small little thing around my cuticles because I just feel like it's a lot more comfortable. I feel like, and it's on a lower speed, and I feel like it's not going to cut me. And I want to make sure there's no acrylic stuck to my skin around my cuticle. But I do feel like I can promote myself to a big girl sander and use this drill bit, this sanding drill bit. I feel like... I always used to use, if you watch my other videos, I always used to use the brown sander to kind of sand them down. I do up the speed when I do this, even with the brown sander. But the brown sander, it takes a little bit longer to do than with this one, which is what I realized. But it, I feel like you're a lot less likely to cut yourself with the brown sander. This one makes me a little nervous just because the edge is so sharp and it's not... I don't know, it just makes me nervous going around my cuticle area. So this is why I tried to avoid using it until I got a little bit more comfortable. The brown sander I still like. It works perfectly fine. But this one I feel like it just works a little bit faster. But I do have to, I am a little bit more careful with this one around my cuticle area. Okay, so if you've seen my nail video a couple videos back and you bought that polish, nail polish set that I used in that video, the, the same one I'm going to use this time. I'm going to use three colors from that set and also a top coat and a black gel polish. I'm not sure what happened to the clip where I started painting my nails, but I just used the color 224, the orange color on the two nails, and then the color 228 on the rest of the nails the red color. Okay, so for the 228 nail polish, the red nail polish, I did have to go in with three coats. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than it turned out to be, so I had to do more coats. I wish it was a little bit darker so I didn't have to kind of load it up with coats of polish to get it dar as dark as I wanted it because it didn't look as right. They looked kind of I don't know, it just didn't look as right. And I don't know yet if I really like this brand of nail polish. It did kind of look like it was separating, and I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure I'm thrilled with this nail polish, but they are a little bit cheaper in price, so I guess it's like you get what you pay for. But yeah, so I did go in with three coats of the red, and then after the three coats, I put... A clear coat on them just to kind of seal them and finish them up a top coat I mean and I am really happy with the top coat I know I say it in every video but I really like the top coat that I'm using okay and then after that after I cure that I'm just I had this foil here sitting by me so I'm just gonna use that I just need something to put the nail polishes on so I'm gonna take a little bit of that same red color and then I'm also going to take the 223 color which is like a orangish a little bit like an orange brown shade I guess and I'm going to use a brush I'm using a small brush and I'm just going to add I don't want to say circles but just I guess dots different shaped dots all around my nail with the red first I'm using the red first and I'm just going to want to cover up the red not leaving too much orange showing it is going to look kind of weird at first, just going to kind of trust the process a little bit because it does look weird at first, like it's not going to turn out right. So 
So then after I get all the dots laid down, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to wet my brush and then not too much. You don't want it dripping, but I'm just going to kind of tap my brush on those dots because it kind of spreads out the gel polish, like makes it bleed out. So it looks a little bit better and it's okay if it kind of wipes away. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then after I cure the first spots, I'm going to go in with that second darker orangish brown color and I'm going to just do the exact same thing on top of all the spots. I'm just going to kind of put it on top in the center and then again I'm going to take the alcohol and kind of tap it again just to make it kind of bleed out a little bit and thin it out and I'm going to cure it after I do that as well. And then I needed a dark brown polish, but I didn't have a dark brown gel polish. So what I did was I mixed all the colors really. I mixed the red color that I used first, the second like orangish brown color I used, and then I mixed a little bit of black in just to make the shade that I wanted of brown. And after I had the color that I wanted, I did basically the exact same thing I did with the other colors. I put the brown on top of those colors in a smaller kind of circle. And I don't want to say circle, but it's not a circle. It's just kind of like a little splotch. And again, with the alcohol, went on top of it, over it just a little bit to kind of bleed it out. And then I cured it. And then after that, I went in with the black gel polish and I did the same thing as well. <laughs> I went in and with this one, you kind of want to go in with a lot of black. Like you don't want it to be, uh, you want it to be really opaque, like really dark. So I'm going in with the black on top and then just kind of like, like, Pressing it with my brush, even just leaving a little bit of brush strokes at the edge. Just not, you just don't want a complete circle, circle. Just kind of blend it in with the other ones. And then I did go in with a little bit of alcohol after, not too much with the black. Just a tiny bit, just to make it bleed out just a little. After I cured the black, I went in with a little bit of alcohol on my brush and then tapped it into that brown color that I made because I just wanted to kind of, kind of just make it a little bit like darker, a little dirtier looking. So I went in with a little bit of brown, a little bit of alcohol to make it really thin and kind of went over pretty much everything but more so the orange in the background like the orange parts because I just wanted to make it a little bit darker and then I cured that and then I put a clear top coat on top <laughs> 